Hi there, and welcome to this beautiful day. Today's subject matter is Don't Cut Corners on Your Dreams. Choose your scissors wisely. As you can see, I am giving myself a message to choose my scissors today. And today, I'm so happy and grateful that you have chosen to click on this video. Um, and my hope is that something will charge you up and set you in motion today. We are all in constant motion, but the motion that we choose has a lot to do with our experiences. So today, I want you to take out a piece of paper and write down some of your goals, some of your dreams, something that you would like to accomplish by the end of this year. You have, you know, several months left to go before we venture on into the next year. So you have a lot of time to choose your scissors wisely. And what I mean by that is, you know, don't cut corners on your dreams um, by trying to do things quickly. Take your time and map it out, okay? And uh, you will see greater results. And choosing your scissors wisely is very important. What are you cutting out of your life, okay? Some people cut out their dreams. They push them aside, set them aside for a later date, which could be good and it might not be so good because you are putting other people first instead of yourself. So what we want to do is we want to actually make a choice, okay? What is more important, you or somebody else. And in my life, I choose to put myself first now. Okay, before I had to take care of, um, you know, my family and my child and jobs and, you know, other people and helping them out and doing a, you know, good job so that I could, um, meet the monthly requirements and it was very stressful and I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't, you know, feeling really good. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm cutting out things and certain um, people out of my life that are stopping me. They're holding me back. They're uh, vampires. They're time wasters. Um, they live in drama. And they try to mm, suck the life out of you. So these things are stealing your joy. They're stealing your peace. They're stealing your energy. And they're wasting your time. So today we're going to take out our special spiritual scissors. We have several pair, and one is to cut out um, anything that's wasting your time, okay? So write that stuff down that is wasting your time, okay? And you could be using your time um, better, in a better way, uh, doing happier things, more creative things, more um, spontaneous, fun things, exciting things for you, okay? Um, write those things down that you find yourself doing. Um, procrastination. Uh, anything that's stagnant, uh, stopping you, holding you back. Um, people, places, or things, okay? And write them down. And then take out your scissors and cut the paper, okay, cut it all up and throw it right in the trash, okay, because we're going to take some action, all right. 
if there's people in your life that are narcissists, drama queens and kings, um, people that love to complain, they they like to scream, they like to yell, they like attention, um, you know, any of that stuff. You know, they call you up on the phone, the emailers that love to send you negative messages, your Facebookers, whatever. Um, write all that down, okay? And cut that up too and throw that in the garbage. So we're going to choose our scissors. So, you know, don't be a people pleaser either. That's enough of that, okay? Cut that out of your life. Um, it's time to please yourself, all right? This month right here of June is a month to, you know, declutter your emotions, okay? Decluttering your life, uh, things that are causing stagnation, um, negative patterns. Cut all this out. It's stopping you. Um, dream killers, you know, whatever is a dream killer in your life. It could be, a, you know, yourself sabotaging. Uh, your subconscious mind loves to do that. It loves to hold you back. It loves to stop you because of fear-based thoughts. So if you have fear of being, doing, or having whatever that is, that dream, that goal, that pursuit, um, that needs to be cut out. So grab your scissors and cut out all that stuff. Okay, stagnation, procrastination, fear, worry, worry about other what other people are going to say or think about you or do to you. I have thousands of clients that I work with monthly. And believe me, fear is the number one dream killer that there is and ever will be. So when you come to that place where you get determined to live your dream, your dream, your real, honest-to-goodness dream life, okay? You're going to have to set it in motion, okay? And there's no cutting corners. Um, you're going to have to go through things. You're going to have to change your whole entire life at times. You're going to have to put people off. You're going to have to say no. You're going to have to cut people out. Um, you're going to have to cut patterns out. You're going to have to stop doing certain things that are time wasters. Um, what I chose to do a while ago is um, look at the belief systems and patterns that were, you know, running in my life and waking up in the morning and saying, okay, this is what I usually do. And now we're going to change that up. All right. So I tell people sometimes for breakfast, eat dinner. For dinner, eat breakfast. And they look at me like, what? You know, because they are so stuck in a pattern. They never realize they get up. The first thing they do is run and check their messages on their phone. Um, they can't live without the phone or texting all day or sitting at the computer all day. Um, the first thing they do is run and make a coffee. They can't go, you know, a half an hour without a cup of coffee. Um, you know, so we need to change some of that stuff and just look at the pattern and why we're doing it, right? Uh, you know is having um, a person in your life um, stopping you from opening your own business, right? Are they a dream killer? Ah, do you have, you know, chaos running in your house? Are you allowing that and that's stopping you because you now have an excuse, okay, because they're making noise and this and that? Um, somebody might hear you, somebody might, you know, say something to you, you know, you, you keep answering the phone, you keep, um, sending Facebook, you know, messages out instead of running your business. 
instead of um, going to work. Some people will make an excuse why they can't go and apply for a job. They have a million excuses, so we need to take out spiritual scissors, and we need to cut out those excuses as well. We need to cut out all the things in our life and in our home that are stopping us and completely choose your scissors wisely, okay? Don't be afraid to cut people out of your life, okay? You can set them on hold if you're afraid to let go of somebody, all right? Um, I'm telling you right now, when you put yourself first, place yourself on that pedestal that you have placed everybody else on, okay? you are going to see a difference, remarkable difference in your life. So let's start using our scissors today. Write down your list of goals, your list of dreams, and then on a separate piece of paper, the dream killers. Okay? And cut them literally with a pair of scissors and throw them in the trash. Okay? And then your goals and your dreams, I want you to look at them and see what is the most important to you, okay? And that most important one is the one you're going to work on, okay? And you're going to take important steps. Every single day, you are going to take another step in creating that experience for yourself. Don't tell anybody else what you're doing, you do not have to explain yourself to nobody. Understand this. You know, you are a grown up now. You need to come out of that mode of, you know, everybody else's opinion matters. All right. You don't need nobody else's opinion about your dream. So if you dream of owning your own home, paid off in full, you need to write that down. You need to see what steps it's going to take you without cutting any corners, okay? Just cutting out the dream killers and everything that's causing you to sabotage that dream. Every excuse you could muster up right now, you know, I don't have enough money, I'm not good enough, I, you know, never owned a home before, I'm afraid, you know, all these things are dream killers, all right? Why are you allowing those dream killers? Write that down, all right? You may be married. Your spouse might be an issue. He might have issues or she might have issues that need tissues, okay? Cut out their issues from stopping you from living in your joy, in your own strength, in your own power, in your own peace, okay? You have your own dreams. You have your own goals. They have their own dreams. They have their own goals. Don't stop your life for your spouse, all right? You need to live. You need to get out. You need to separate yourself from them and their issues, all right? You need to separate yourself from your children, your pets, your neighbors, your workers and co-workers, okay? From your boss, from your job. You leave your job at the job, all right? And I will tell you a story quickly is um, when you have employment, you're working somewhere or you own a, your own business, all right? When you find yourself in an unhappy state there and you start complaining you will suddenly find yourself losing that position why because you are speaking your complaints to the universe and the universe will say okay good you don't like it there we're moving you out of there and we're gonna put somebody else there that will like it there. And then you, you know, lose that position or you lose your business. 
slowly but surely, and then you've got something else to complain about. So some people need to wake up about that and cut out the complaining because the universe gives you blessings, okay? And then you need to appreciate those blessings. Same goes for relationships, all right? So when you find that you're judging your partner, okay, um, find out what it is inside of you that needs to be cut out so that you stop judging them so that the universe keeps you together if that's what you want but if you're with somebody that you know is not compatible with your dreams okay um, they may be abusive narcissists okay um, these are the people you need to cut out all right, you need to get away, away from those relationships and you know it. They're not good for you. Do not fear of being alone. Do not fear of change. Do not fear of um, what they'll do or not having them. They might be with somebody else if you, you know, break up with them. So what? Okay, let somebody else deal with them because the universe has somebody better for you believe me been there done that am there now loving my life I choose my scissors wisely okay you get smarter and stronger as you move along in your life's journey unless you are self-sabotaging you know you will know <laughs> You will know I'm speaking to you on certain levels here. Um, we all have scissors. We are all carrying spiritual scissors, whether you know it or not. Okay? So, don't cut corners on your dreams anymore. Okay? That's today's message. And choose your scissors wisely. All right? So, you can write that down and keep that mental note handy for you because you're going to need those scissors as we're going along especially through this year and some of next year if you work with me one-on-one -on -one or buy my packages you will understand more when you come to my live events you will get some very important information all right and you can also work with um, my present packages this one coming up, we are going to be dealing with um, alignments and connecting. So, you know, it's called Cosmic Connections. I will be live on June 9th at 7 p.m. And underneath the video, you'll find that link to sign up. You'll need to sign up. You'll get free gifts when you do um, so that you will get the email of the event and the call-in numbers or where you can just click on a link and listen in okay uh, you can write in your questions you can press star 2 on your phone and speak live with me all right you can ask questions you can give um, testimonials you know you can support other people by being there okay so what is happening in your life I would love to hear from you how this video has helped you in some way uh, boosted you up and set you in motion okay so you see my beautiful um, picture on the screen of scissors uh, that's lovely for me because I am you know creative and I love to um, create a little art Okay, anybody can get on a video and show theirself, but I choose not to anymore because people were focusing more on me, what I was wearing, my makeup, my hair. They would always, you know, comment. Or there was, you know, some people that, you know, were not there for the video at all. They were there to get a date okay and I'm just laying that out there and you know it may cause a giggle for some of you but 
um, my energy is very powerful and very drawing to certain people. So um, I learned a lot, okay, by doing um, my business for several years now. It's like 15 years or more. Um, so anyway, choose your scissors today. Cut out what is no longer serving you and your divine purpose, okay? And then come to my live event. There'll be one on the 9th, and then there's another one, I believe, on the 18th, where we're going to talk about longevity on that call and um, your health, all right, and your emotions and your well-being. So we're in that time right now where a lot of people are concerned about their well-being in their health and relationships and in their, you know, um, finances. So, you know, I cover all topics, all right, and uh, nothing, you know, moves me. Your story is not going to move me. It's not going to shake me up. I've heard it all, all right, and I've lived through a lot of different things. You know, the experiences that I had um, and still am having uh, are bringing me to the light of what to do. All right, how to shift out of that, you know, um, situation so that I can support you on your journey, okay? And then when I support you, you get stronger, your life starts changing, you start seeing your dreams uh, manifesting because that's what I do. I am, you know, a master manifester. I manifest beautiful things um, every day. I choose my scissors wisely, okay? I choose only to share what is um, true, okay, and uplifting and motivating. And that's why I'm here. So a lot of people will shut off the video because they aren't ready to choose, to move on, to change. That is your subconscious mind stopping you because of your patterns that you grew up in. Go through your old family albums. Look at how you were dressed, okay? You lived in a certain uh, house, in a certain town, wearing the certain clothes, hanging with certain people, doing, you know, certain things, saying certain things, you know, and it's a pattern, all right? You learn certain things. You learned um, how to act, right? How to react, how to love. You chose um, how to believe about money, right? Uh, what to believe about yourself. And you'll see that running through your family, okay? Everybody, you know, speaks about the same stuff. They, they gather together with the same recipes. They all kind of have the same hairstyle, you know what I'm saying, and, and hair color and everything about your family. You know, it just runs through, you know, and you look at those old pictures and you'll have judgments about how you looked, all right, what you were wearing. You'll have a story, all right. So take your scissors and start cutting out the negative judgments about yourself and how you look then and um, cut out the scissors you know that just oh my goodness there are so many stories you know that are no longer relevant to you and who you are now you are not that person anymore but you got to choose your scissors wisely okay and um, always learn to love and to forgive. That is a main thing this year. Choose to love, okay? Choose to um, bless and understand people, all right? And don't buy into the drama of today, all right? Choose to relax, choose to quiet down your mind and your body by breathing, meditating, um, 
high vibrational music right now I am playing my um, you know healing bowls for you uh, clearing your chakras and everything else and and also uh, there's a healing going on right now physically mentally spiritually as I am talking I am always doing more than one thing at the same time because I choose to do that I choose my scissors wisely and I'm choosing right now to cut out any negative thought patterns any negative energies entities whatever they might be in you on you around you your environment is being cleansed right now isn't that awesome so be happy and grateful today that you chose your scissors today to cut out um, something that would stand in your way from coming to this video and I congratulate you because you have won today's prize <laughs> today's prize is having a joyful day all right so I'm handing you your scissors today they're on the screen grab a hold of them and start cutting out those things that are dream killers all right dream killers are no longer allowed in my life okay I choose to cut out all dream killers and that is our assignment for today it is a beautiful day no matter where you are we choose to have a beautiful day and if you choose anything else get out them scissors and cut that out cut it out that's a good message today is cut it out yes <laughs> go underneath the video and click on the little link there to sign up for the upcoming call I want to talk to you you want to talk to me and we're gonna cut out anything that is an excuse saying I can't make it I can't be there it's too noisy go sit in the car do whatever it takes find a quiet corner to come on the call you have all the time in the world right now for you that's what you got to choose time is for me okay everybody else it's my time now okay that is true make time for you and this has been a beautiful moment together have an awesome day I choose to have an amazing awesome day and I choose that for you too sometimes other people got to come in and choose something more wisely for you yeah <laughs> have a great day today I know you will joy is coming <laughs>